What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am back with a new episode of Fire Emblem Engage. And uh, last episode, went through chapter three, woke up in the middle of the night to find out that the palace was getting under attack, or the castle was under attack. Wiped out whatever corrupted were here, but we were not, we were not here in time to save our precious mother Lumera, who we had just met about 30 minutes prior. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, she took the hit for us because someone was trying to assassinate us, um, or more so, Saix. And uh, yeah, Lumera took the hit like a champ and died like one too. So I'm sorry. I got to stop making jokes about it, but it's like I can't really help but just kind of point it out that it was just crazy timing for that death. I mean, like we had just met her. But anyway, today we're going to move on. We're actually going to go ahead and head, um, head over to Fierne. Uh, because Alfred and his people need help since the Corrupted are also spread all over, you know, that part of the, the world. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far, and if you are, please make sure to drop a like and a comment, subscribe as well. You guys know the deal. Oh, shit! Alright, we got ourselves a... モナステリー。使えるのならありがたいですが、今からみんなで戻るのは大変では。空ネルには不思議な力がございまして。そうなんですか。That's I see. Oh. oh, nah, that's crazy. Nah, I feel that. I feel that. Alright, Saix, you want to go ahead and say bye to mom? I mean, didn't you have like four minutes to do that while she was just talking to you with her dying breath or whatever the fuck? You had plenty of time to talk then. I don't know what the point is. You better not make this too long, dude. I'm trying to play some Fire Emblem, please. Hey, yo, bro. Bro, I just want to let you know you're talking to a chair. You're talking to a chair. I'm such a fucking dickhead. It's actually insane. Anyway, good thing he made it short and sweet, because now I actually want to play the game. Ooh.今はガラントしていて何もありませんが設備を整えれば戦闘にも役立ちます。ああ、いや、we Oh, yeah, somehow you remember it, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. So we've received this hideous piece of jewelry, and uh, I suppose we'll uh, see what it does in a little while. I don't think it'll tell us outright. Maybe the next time we get into a battle, it'll tell us, but. All right, here we are at the Somnial, though. Our hub area, or you could call it our monastery area, if you want to speak in three houses terms. The Somnial is your base. Use this area to prepare for the next battle and interact with your allies. Additional activities and areas of the Somnial will unlock as you progress through the story. Open the world map to continue your adventure. Access it from the menu or by using the exit in the plaza. All right. So, gotta say, I really like the Somnial. A lot of people... Also really like it, uh, depending on who you are. If you're a huge Three Houses fan and you loved everything about it, including how vast and huge the monastery was, you'd probably hate it. But if you're someone who likes, you know, kind of more linear storytelling and just kind of getting to chapter to chapter, you would definitely appreciate that. I'd certainly appreciate something like this because it's not too much of a distraction from the core gameplay, in my opinion. Um, there are a few things that you can do that are really, really helpful. But like I said, it doesn't take too much away from the gameplay. It slows down some things, but there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do, uh, which we'll end up seeing in a little bit as we progress through the story. But as you guys can see, it's a very empty 
very empty place as of right now, but it'll it'll get pretty fucking crazy. It'll become the new party spot once we get new allies, but it's a very beautiful area. So right now I'm just kind of running around and doing a little tour in case you guys have never seen the Somnial. Down here we got ourselves... This is a nice, beautiful pathway. And might I also add that the music for the Somnial, uh, there's actually different versions of the music to, uh, uh, depending on the uh, time of day. So right now I think this is the nighttime theme. But... Every theme for the Somnial is just so beautiful. And uh, not to mention that you can also, once we uh, get further into the game, we will end up unlocking more music through this. I think it's like a music box or something like that. And yeah, make sure to always pick up these glowy things on the ground because you never know <clears throat> you never know what you'll end up getting. Uh, bond fragments are very, very important. Holy shit. <clears throat> Jesus, man. Sorry, I, I don't know what the fuck's going on in my throat right now. Pause. But, like, I just couldn't fucking talk for a second. Yeah, these are some pretty useless items. But Bond Fragments, as well as the Ingots, like I told you guys in the last episode, very, very useful. Um, so I don't think there's much we can do right now. I'm not trying to take away from what we're supposed to be doing right now, like I said. Pain of Lumera runs deep, yet the familiarity of the Somnial is comforting. Yeah, so whoever uh, Syax is paired with... Bon uh, with the the emblem ring that that uh emblem ring character will show up like in the front of the somnial so oh look at this this is beautiful look at how gorgeous this little area is here very very nice i quite like it a lot uh cafe <laughs> the cafe terrace is now open i'm trying to sound fucking Ca cafe terrace is a relaxing communal space with access points to other facilities Use the music box to change the background music on the Somnial. Bulletin board is full of useful information. You can invest in Elios or check out your achievements. Yeah, so, um, can I actually look at that right now? <clears throat> so the Bulletin board has a few things you can look at. One of them being donations, which is... Okay, I guess it'll just fucking explain it for me. I would have liked to put it in my own words, but... If you support countries enough to raise their donation levels, they'll reward you with gifts. With a high donation level, a country will have more rare monsters that you can earn bonus or gold experience gold bonus gold or experience for defeating a high donation level also means you will find more materials while exploring in that country among other things so yeah um as we progress the story and unlock more of the world overall i guess and have access to the other countries in this in this world uh we'll be able to spend gold and contribute to that country to uh, level it up and thus we'll get better spawns when it comes to uh, rare monsters who will drop rare materials, uh, some will drop money, um, as well as other things like food and bond fragments, and you guys can see it on the, uh, on the right side of the screen. Uh, but I do not recommend doing this if you do not have much money, because I'm gonna say it right now, and I think everybody who's played this game knows this, this game is so scarce when it comes to gold, it's actually, like, insane. Like, you have to be very, very particular in which you spend your gold. And I'd recommend 1,000% investing most of your gold forging weapons and just upgrading them. Because obviously, since there's no there's no uh, durability on your weapons, you're going to be using the same ones for the most part. And, and, you know, getting better weapons throughout the course of the game is very important. But forging those weapons is what really changes the course of a battle and uh, while you're playing through the chapters and stuff like that. So, please, if you guys have never played this game before... Never, like, put put that, uh, the donation thing, as, like, the least of your priorities. Because that is, a, is just inevitably, inevitably just going to waste most of your gold, if not all of it, if you're not smart. But we're going to go ahead and go to the room here. And uh, I guess just go to sleep since it's nighttime. And we're just going to head out to the world map in the morning. This is your room, the sacred place where Syx slept for a thousand years. Select rest to take a nap in advanced time in the Somnial. You may hear something interesting while resting. Wear headphones for the best sound. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't need no goddamn ASMR. Select reminisce to view past support conversations and scenes again. You can lower the game's difficulty by selecting difficulty setting. You cannot raise difficulty this way, however. Uh, yeah, so some people really don't like this considering that, like, you know, the game at times can be really easy, but, like, at the same time, I think it's a pretty fair challenge on normal. Uh, but yeah, you cannot raise the difficulty, you can only lower it. 
So now we're going to go ahead and rest real quick and uh, move on to the next day. Oh, wow, that was really fast. I was actually expecting another loading screen. But, um, oh, this is beautiful, though. Holy shit. Yeah, this game is so gorgeous. I'm just going to say it again. Let's go ahead and go outside since the, the next day has come. And uh, we're going to get started. We're going to get rolling with this, with this next chapter because, uh, yeah, I'm going to just put a disclaimer out right now for you guys. I do not plan on spending a lot of time on video in the Somnial because I just kind of want to focus on progressing with the story. And I'm also probably not going to be showcasing that many like skirmishes because if I want to grind a little bit on the side, which I most certainly will because I feel like you kind of need that, you definitely have to grind in this game a little bit. <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be showcasing too much of the Somnial, just because I feel like it wastes a bit of time. And yeah, there's a lot of cool things that you can do, like I said previously, but it kind of takes away from, you know, the main experience of the game. And I, I don't really think people want to see that. You know, I really, I highly doubt that you guys would want to see like a whole fucking video dedicated to doing things in the Somnial, because at the end of the day, it's the slower part of the game, the less exciting part of the game. It's, it's kind of where you just kind of invest in things and build up your army and build up your weapons and stuff it's not really something that's too exciting by any means um and as well as for support conversations i i gotta be honest once again not a huge fan of support conversations in this game they're not very interesting and they don't provide too much background information for characters as you meet them which is very unfortunate um i wish they were more like three houses support conversations because i truly believe that that those were some of the best supports I've ever read, and I think they're amazing. But for this game, I'm not. I don't think it's a strong point at all. Uh, I will be showcasing some, of course, just to show it off. But I will not be making that a focus for any videos. I used to do those for Fire Emblem Fates, but um, yeah, I used to dedicate like whole episodes or whole videos to doing support conversations. Which, uh, looking back on that now, I'm not sure if that would be the most interesting thing, thing to do. Um, just because it's, you know, it's just dialogue between characters. And it's really interesting to find out, you know, more information about characters and their past and stuff. But like I said, this game doesn't do a great job with kind of fleshing them out in that regard. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and depart. We've spent a lot of time just kind of talking and walking around. Let's just go ahead and get to the next chapter. Because we're already about uh, like 13 minutes in or 12 minutes in. So here we go. I'll land in Bloom. Chapter 4, baby. And we've already made it to Fierne. Oh my god, I love this fucking theme. It's so good. ありがとう。見たところ周辺人形兵の襲撃はないようだ。リートスの力は海を越えてくることになったけれど、平気ですよ。なら良かった。強引に連れてきてしまってすまないね。ここへは私の意思で来ています。良かったら王城に着くまで
次はフィレネに託されている指輪について教えてくださいフィレネに伝わる指輪は慈愛の王女の指輪だ Ooh, could that be Selica perhaps? Could be Alright. Oh shit. Of course, it's trouble. This wouldn't be Fire Emblem without trouble. Could it be bandits? Could it be risen? I mean, uh, corrupted? <laughs> Could it be. The big bad? <clears throat> Who knows? Why the fuck does my throat keep just uh, doing what it's doing? Like, what the fuck? Oh boy. And the answer was B! Alright. Let's do it. Oh, shit! ケキがこれ以上増える前にお早くルイクロエでもあなたたちは姫を守りするのが我らの使命ここでやられるほど矢和ではありませんお急ぎくださいお城の一大事を早くアルフレッド様にお伝えしないとわかったわ必ず戻
shit, I don't know what I want to do with that. I am not too sure what I want to do with that. We don't have a hammer or anything like that. And we have a rider's bean. But we don't have any cavaliers or anything like that. I don't know what I want to do. Do I have Boucheron take the armored knight? No, he's not going to do much damage either. And Etie. Etie I want here. She's going to be going north because I think I saw some flyers here. Yeah, I saw a flyer right here. Weaver Knight or a sword flyer, whatever the fuck. Uh, yeah, we got more up here. Got some mages as well. Got to keep them away from Louis once we make them our allies. But, ah, uh, shit. I just don't know where I want to put Alfred because, like, ah, uh, I might have Alfred up here. Because there's a cavalry unit right... Why do I keep saying unit? <laughs> unit. Cavalry unit. Right up here. He's holding a hand axe that we can actually take and give to Boucheron. Uh, got another one right here. Yeah, I think it's best if we have Alfred over here. And then when the time comes, we'll engage with him and he can use a Rider's Bane. Uh, Syrx can stay going this way, I guess. I think we can handle this, but then who do I have going east? Uh, we'll probably have... Gotta have a healer nearby, dude. I think as long as we have Vander with... Clan and... Boucheron, I think everything will be fine. Although Boucheron can hold his own, I think. Except we just, we can't have mages going after him. Chloe's gonna have to dispatch them really quickly. Um, alright. So I think we're, I think we're good though. I think we're good. I'm pretty happy with the placement of our of our units here. So let's go ahead and save. And we can go ahead and start now. Yeah, let's do this. Oh my god, it's Princess Saline. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep it a buck. I don't like pronouncing her name as Saline. I know that's how they say it in the English translation or whatever the fuck, or however they pronounce it in English, but I've always stuck with Celine. It just seems the most natural to me, so whoever the fuck is going to get mad at me for pronouncing it wrong, um, that sucks, because I'm going to pronounce it wrong. I love... I totally lost my train of thought. Alright, let's go. I'm getting distracted now. Oh, shit, I forgot. Huh. <laughs> Oh my god, is that like the third or fourth time that's happened? Oh my god, are you the Divine Dragon? Holy shit. Nice. Sweet. Oh, this theme goes so fucking hard. I love this theme. That is so fucking hype. I love Celica. あらそいはこの魔内のだけれど。答えてください。ありがとうございます。これは all right so all three of them joined our group which is great oh looks like louis played some fire emblem in his day oh it looks like she has too holy shit that's crazy it's like you know what to do awesome oh we got our enemy here got our uh main enemy commander over there so oh my god guys this is one of my favorite battle themes in the entire game if you disagree you're actually tripping um yeah spirits of the fallen we do not have because i refuse to give nintendo more of my money just for a little swirly item on the ground that can give you some shit i don't give a damn it's, it's fine um okay so saline shit now i'm saying it the way no i don't want to say it this way that's not how i ah saline yeah, fuck that. Fuck you guys who think it's Saline. Fuck that. Saline over here has got Celica, which is going to be very, very useful. 
Got ourselves another magic user. You know what, though? I think I honestly might have Celine. Ooh, man, her defense, though, can't be that good. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. We might go for both of these units. Oh, good shit. Good shit. All right, enough talking, please. Emblem Celica wields powerful magic attack. She is a valuable asset against corrupted foes. The Sync skill, Holy Stance, reflects some of the damage received from corrupted foes against the attacker. The Engage weapon, Seraphim, deals a bonus damage to corrupted foes. The Engage skill, Echo, allows unit to initiate combat twice using a tome at a cost of 50% damage. The Engage attack, Warp Ragnarok, uh, teleports the user to a space near a distant enemy and attacks with powerful magic. So yeah, Selic has got some pretty decent attacks and skills. Um, like I said, dude, Warp Ragnarok goes absolutely insane, though. Let me tell you. I think what I'll have us do, though, for now is... Eh, I'm not going to engage this yet. We're going to use Fire and completely wipe out this Armored Knight right here. Because, fuck yeah. Quick 16, another 16. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Very good. And she also has a Slim Sword, I believe. Yeah, she does. And a Vulnerary, of course. Uh, but now Clan can go and take care of this guy. Okay, yeah, we've seen houses before in Fire Emblem, thank you. Yeah, visiting houses, yeah, they'll give you items. That's it. Enough explaining, please. God damn, this game loves to fucking throw tutorials up your ass. It's crazy. Alright, click 13, another 13, he's done. Sweet. Clan dispatches them relatively easily. Alright, uh... Let's see. What's the danger zone for this? Okay, and we'll send Vander. We'll send Vander right here. Why not? We'll track those guys. Uh, we'll go up there in a second. Um, let me see. Sykes. Uh, let me see here. Because then who do we have? Um, if I move here, then I'm exposed to this guy. Ah, you know what? Honestly. Might have to engage now. Might have to engage now. Let me see. Let's go ahead and see the animation for this. That goes so hard. Anyway, look at how much movement we have now. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, we have 13 movement. Okay, sweet. This is sick as fuck, though. Alright, so let's go ahead. Uh, Rider's Bane, will that do more? Keep pressing the wrong thing. Um... What we can do... No, not, no, no, no. Over here. No, not that. Uh, attack with the Rider's Bane. Why not? Gotta make use of this while we can. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll take the 4 damage. That's not a problem. Fran's gonna be following us behind anyway. Uh, we can stand right here. And now Syax over here can go ahead and get this kill. Uh, with the Liberation is fine. Yes, let's go. Got to catch up to speed, because I think every other unit is at least level 4 or 5, so... What level is that now? Level 4. Okay, cool. That's great. That's a great level up. Dex, speed, resistance, luck. That's a great level up, especially for resistance. Holy shit. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, next, Etia is definitely going to be coming up this way, because she wants... I mean, I want her to take care of those flyers. And we'll have... We'll have Ram come up here for now. Why not? Lucheron will have this way. Yeah, we'll go this way. Sweet. Now, as for these two right here, we need to eliminate them right now. Holy fucking shit. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm not a huge fan that we can't kill this guy in one, t one fucking turn. But at the same time, it's not a big deal. Because Chloe is going to be out of range. Hopefully you can kill this guy, though. Yes, yeah, sweet. All right, so we can do that right now. And then after this turn, we're going to probably visit the houses and stuff. Beautiful. Chloe, I'm telling you, once we invest in her, and once we just keep her, keep her rolling along with us, she's going to be a monster. I guarantee it. I have... I made such great use of her in my first run. It was just fucking insane. It was incredible. Like, she she blew me away just because of how amazing she was. 
Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's going to do zero damage. Because Louis is a freaking tank. He's fantastic. He's a beast. How much is he going to be? Okay, he's probably going to miss that. Watch. Oh, let's go. Great miss. Great miss. We love that. And now he's exposed to our Rider's Bane. Another... Oh my god, dude. Look at how much... Look at how much this guy's taken. Absolutely nothing. Oh, boy. Exciting. Oh, we got a ruffian. Alright. Oh, no. It's the fucking crystal. Oh,シェ。What I say, man, there's gonna be a time wheel or turn wheel somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It was just bound to happen. All right, and we got ourselves the Draconic Time Crystal. It's just gonna explain. You can use the Draconic Time Crystal to re rewind time and retry actions you take in battle. Select Time Crystal from the menu. Use up and down to select how far back you would like to go and confirm with A. And I believe you already, right off the bat, start off with 10 uses of the Draconic Time Crystal, meaning you can make a godly amount of errors. And then just be like, ah, uh, no, wait, it's fine. Let me go back real quick and fix what I just did. And three houses, yeah, you had this mechanic as well, but I think you only start off with like five uses of it, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But damn, this game just loves to give you whatever the fuck you want, but it's all good. Like I said, though, in the beginning of this playthrough, it's not going to happen unless I have a crazy misclick like I did last episode. But until then, we're not going to be using it at all. That's just me, though.